Augustina is an innovator. We think of innovation sometimes as high technology or engineering or computers, but actually innovation is simply a process. It's a process of solving problems. Joaquin was a great student innovator because of his ability to collaborate. He was like a little mini teacher. He'd kind of check in with his classmates and see how everyone was doing and then they'd reconvene. A student innovator is someone who takes risks and is not afraid to make any mistakes. I've been really fortunate to get to know Joaquin and Augustina over the past two years and I've really seen their innovation and creativity blossom. I can still remember um, when we had a plastic waste challenge. Joaquin made this really awesome candy dispenser that had some comedic twist to it. And Augustina made a stool that you could actually sit on. From the get-go, they were quite innovative. To me, innovation means creating something that is creative and original. What I enjoyed most about STEMIN was that I got to design different things and kind of be free about it. We designed things like classrooms, houses. For Augustina's project, she basically took a look at a class that was kind of old and dusty. So she said, well, you know, we are interactive. We also work a lot in groups here at Stanford. So why are we all in rows? This app is called SketchUp, and it's a design app that we used for a lot of our projects for designing different things. In this case, we used it to design the classroom. The students all saw her presentation. They were like, this is the sort of classroom we want. And I worked as hard as I could to turn them into reality. One of the projects that stood out to me last year was this book of poems and mixed media art that she made for Genius Hour. She really went into her passions of, of art and literature and combined that with what she did in STEM In and just created this beautiful piece of art. I really like taking risks and doing challenging things because for each artwork I had to stop and think, well, what techniques would be good for it? My brother is really creative. He's a bit different than me. He doesn't use colors like I do, but he does really like creating things in Minecraft. This is fun. I love Minecraft because there's no limits in Minecraft. You can just build anything. Students in grade five were given a task to create lunar bases. And Joaquin was the first one to come up with really unique designs to incorporate gyms and gardens to ensure that life on moon would be exciting. The three most innovative parts was the airlock. It was something really fun and cool to build. The indoor farm, because you wouldn't normally have that anywhere on Earth. Also the gym. In the game, there isn't really much that you can use for the fitness, so you really had to be creative. One project that really stood out to me was the robotic finger project from Mystery Science. We had a piece of paper. We needed to make it into kind of like a finger. Um, and then we put a piece of clipboard at the very tip, connected to a piece of string, and then we pulled the string, and then the finger like turned. It was really fun. You also have two bathrooms, so you don't see something like this. I like working in a team because then they get to hear my ideas and I get to hear them, and we get to make an even more innovative idea. Student innovator to me is somebody who tackle a problem not just thinking about the standard solution that a teacher wants, but what is the most amazing answer that I can possibly find, not just for a teacher, but for me as well. 